we know said this September yeah, is when school open. And we have so much problems are going on in that educational sector. Yeah, that I don't know them going to work it out. But them have to work it out in the interest of the children. Them have to work it out. Because them have so long to work it out. And it's right now, your ear said, this now go right. Some of the school, them not get this as out of madness, as usual. So in the interest of the children, them, we hope them can work it out soon. Fall's here and all sort of things. Now you're in stress. You have to wake up, wake up after your sleep and slumber and realize how important it is. For you to get things right in your head. We're talking to the parents, them. We're talking to the parents, them. So, don't bother pressure nobody because you make the wrong move. Because that is really where it turned out to know that because you never do the right thing originally and the thing gone away, you know, you start to pressure people. Start to do this and do that. And no, say so you did have the money in a yarn all the while, but true, the big party did cross a watch the way a ten thousand dollar for going, which ten thousand dollar can buy enough things, enough things it can buy. And now you spend half the money and I look for people help you out. That is really way there. You need a help out. Crazy. It's crazy. What so you want know. We're going to play. We we'll play something as well. I think it's the, it's the funniest thing I hear for a long while. It's a parody. To those of you who don't know what parody is, go Google it and find out because I can't bother explain it to you. But the brother who do this are the persons who do this thing. Here. Trust me, man. It's a number one hit by my chart. What it is all about, it is a conversation between President Putin and Donald Trump about the problems we find himself in. A, and it is done to Shaggy Redim. Shaggy have a true name, it was me. And them do it with that Redim, so. I nearly dropped down with laugh when I hear it first, so I hope it gives you enough laughter when you hear it. Here it goes. Putin and Trump. Let's review the situation that you caught up in. Uh, to be a dictator, now you want to dictate. To say a night, convince them, say a day. Never admit to a word that they say. And if they claim it, you tell them, baby, no way. Undermined an election It wasn't me Incited insurrection It wasn't me Fake wealth to get bank loans It wasn't me Number one radio station In the whole wide world It wasn't me She got some sensitive info Okay, what's that? It looks like code from Mario The feds came in and they found my top secret docs on the bathroom floor on top of this, now they got me indicted for dabbling in election fraud. I had tried to keep them back from what they were about to see. How can I get away with it when they don't take hush money? What up, man? What do you want, man? The Lord just caught up with me. You let them catch you? I don't know how I let this happen. What did you do? Election subversion, retention of personal I don't know what to do. Say it wasn't you. Beautiful. The feds came in and they found my top secret docs on the bathroom floor. On top of this, now they got me indicted for dabbling in election fraud. I had tried to keep them back from what they were about to see. How can I get away with it when they don't take hush money? Why you give them dances to your villa? I listen to a pro, cause you act like a beginner. Thought it be a postmodern relative truth stainer. Let's review the situation that you caught up in. To be a dictator, now you want to dictate. To say a night, convince them, say a day. Never admit to a word that they say. And if they claim it, you tell them, baby, no way. 
Undermined an election. It wasn't me. Incited insurrection. It wasn't me. Fake wealth to get bank loans. It wasn't me. Pressure Georgia on the telephone. It wasn't me. Sparked a riot on the Capitol. It wasn't me. Paid off Stormy Daniels. It wasn't me. She got some sensitive info. Okay, what's that? It looks like Toad from Mario. The feds came in and they found my top secret docs on the bathroom floor. On top of this, now they got me invited for dabbling in election for. I had tried to keep them back from what they were about to see. How can I get away with it when they don't take hush money? I tell you, the power of the AI, man. This is what is taking place in the technological world now. They make it say things where you never say. <laughs> that is so dramatic. Very creative, I should say. We're going to take a break and come forward. Today I with you on the second razor. The, 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 the utilities them still not come back normally yet. July, August. And when hurricane look here, the 3rd of July, something about this, so. July to August, August to September, two months now. People are calling me from all over the place. I tell me, say, Muta, you know, say, flow now work. You know, say, digital now work. You know, say, me not have no water. Hey, me not have no water, neither, you know. <laughs> me not have no water, neither. It's a lucky thing, say, me not have a pump boat. 15 years ago, we can't trip in and guess what? Fear just have it at the pump, trip out, just when them, them in the water, the CMD in the water, and we're going to turn on the pump. The pump now work. And just a while ago, me fix it. When I know me fix it, me get somebody to fix it. Why you the region who fix the pump, you know? Yes, why you hear them up? No, just a while ago, the pump fix. So you can just imagine now, me, me, me have some back there when I go down on my bridge. You know why you love juice? Hey, juice, give thanks, you know. Yeah, man, juice, see me this morning. Me have three, five gallon back there when I go down on juice, you know. Okay, some water. By the time I come up here back, the man who have fixed the, fix the, the, the pump come. And I still have the back there. <laughs> I still have the three back there, five gallon back there water there, so. Ready and waiting. Because me I tell you, it's not lovely. It's not lovely, though. No. When you water, when you're not water in your house, you know, it's not lovely. Believe you me. The river just down the road, you know, me can't go down there, so. We can't go down there, so, you know. If I go down there, go start using the river, man. Crowd draw down there. <laughs> Crowd draw down there. We have to go weird on a Zion Hill. Why you know all the people that run a Zion Hill? But it's a weird thing. So two months now, two months now you have people who don't have no light and not have no water. This man and me I get called about phone, cell phone in a treasure beach and them place there. I don't know what is happening. How the thing takes so long to fix two months. It's unbelievable, man. And when you complain, you hear say, you're licking against the government and all them something there. The government supposed to make sure them something they work out quick. Just like how them collect your money quick. And if you don't pay it over a certain time, boom, you, hey, the, the sell people, them, you know, them about we, you know. You see, when they, when your bill are come, come in, about two or three days before the bill, I don't know if it happened to anybody else, you know, but you find, say, your, your internet gets slow. I, I saw them are threatening you, you know. <laughs> they are threatening you. Your internet gets slow. And them, it's, it's like them are telling you, look at uh, two days before, you better go pay it now, you know. One day it gets slower, you know. Now, me have this program, me have to do, and I uh, internet me use. So me can't afford to make the internet go down. A madness. So me make sure so me pay the internet and the light bill. Because that's how we use for run this program yeah. But you have some people who now run the program and them just want to make some call to them friend and family. And them just have the people them in a limbo. Just a 
Awanda wendu singa wakomba. Nof kalia kalia tato machine. This is not the time now that the people them want to hear no machine when them take up them phone. When them are dial. They want to hear live people. I tell them what is the situation. Like the water now. You call and you not you hear say this and you hear say that. Water still lock up. Water still lock up. What is going on? What is going on? And the problem is, you know, the hurricane hit the place, you know. And it, it certainly here. Uh, what about when the hurricane come right over Jamaica? What will happen? What guy happen? Because we see the effect where it have on the food, the food, you know. And when you look at the price them for the food, you know, you say, man, I better you just go up on a fast. <laughs> But I just go for that fast pay eh, until the plant them grow back. It's a weird thing. Water and electricity. I don't know which one I prefer. I pre- you know, say I prefer the water than the electricity. Yes. Because I can, I can actually do without electricity in a whole heap of ways because, yeah, you can use your phone as flashlight. And all them with the candle and lamp and them something. But the water thing, Rasta, you have to kick, you have to tile it, you have to flush. You know, everybody think about no beard them time. <laughs> everybody think about no beard, you know. It's where I go on. How come the thing I take so long, Rasta? Are the people them? GPS. What I deal with? What the lack of people light? Because they don't pay light bill. All one day over, two day over, you don't know, pay the light bill to lock it up. Then all them don't give you the light. Hey, me look for my light bill the other day. And at the same bill, when we get the, the month before, we get again, you know. We give and take a couple of dollars. Up. No down. Up. And me ask about it. Me never, the TV nah, the TV never work. The phone I work. The phone work off a battery. And it not take up enough things to access your phone. So all the light bill come up to the same amount of money where it not come up to all the while. Me not see nobody around me at TV electricity. Nobody not at TV electricity about ya. So how come the electricity bill come up to the same amount? GPS, what are I deal with? When I'm in with the government, because I hear the government are ball out for you, you know. I hear the government are going to time to fix the thing. But even though them say them to fix it, you know, what if a place still not get fixed yet? No place. And them give them a time, you know, them say, watch out, by the time, this and that, it better fix. So what now? Only for place to fix. So what am I going to do to JPS? What am I going to do to JPS? Government, what am I going to do with JPS? Lock off them light. <laughs> ah, it's a, I tell you, a joke business. Joke business. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, we there with you. We are talking about JPS and them, them ways. And the company them where offer services to the people them where two months now hurricane leak and things can't go back to normal so long two months what's that? Me not understand that. Me not understand it. Granted, when the Mediterranean going to some places, you know, very difficult. You know, Jamaica mountain us and all them way there and, you know, the wire we run gone all up at the top of the hill, them and all them something there. But we never talk about them kind of hill, we are talk about flat land. Flat land we are talk about. We don't have to climb going away. You just in the van or in the, the truck and fix wire and do what you're supposed to do. All the thing I take so long. All the thing I take so long. Utilities is something where the people them 
have to have, whether you're a business person or you're just a private citizen, resident citizen, you're supposed to have these things. And if you pay your feet, a hurricane come, and you're outside for three, four weeks, and then when the bill come, and the same kind of bill you get, like when you have the, the, the thing them on, Somebody a play draw bad card and give the six for your nine and all them here. They draw bad card for the people them. Including myself here. Yeah. I resent that. Because I, I never own a light bill. And I never own a water rate. For this come and happen nowhere. Me can't get water. Me can't the light. You know, I mean... The light come back for me, but people call me and ask me, oh, them don't hear me, I say nothing about it. Somebody decides, I'm going to say something about it today. People still have a pressure. People, the, 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 the flow thing and the digital thing in a certain area. Somebody just call me, like before the program start, yeah. When I'm assisting them, call me and say, Muta, the people, them have light, but them, Internet now work, them phone now work, them don't understand how that possible. And me have to assure them, say, no, GPS have nothing to do with that. Because you have GPS, if you have light, it now have nothing to do with why your floating now work, how your digital thing now work. And the people, them say, well, them digital thing now work, and the floating now work. Me have the same problem, yeah. Me have the same problem, yeah. You call somebody and the phone chip out. It call it now ring. You know, you call them back. You know, I hear them good. All of a sudden, you say, you know, have no internet service by your phone. You try to use the, the WhatsApp. Your internet go down. So you can't use the WhatsApp. You call them straight call where you never want to. Because you never want to give them no more money than what they're supposed to get. And when you call them on the street call, the something trip out, them not hear you, you not hear them. And you have to ring, 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 ring. And then people are calling say, Muta, how oh, come I call you so long, Rasta? And your phone are ring and you not answer. Like them, I wonder if I choose me to see them name why I not answer. And not no go so. Not no go so. Sometimes people call you. And when them call you, you take up the phone and the phone. No, no, nobody not up on the phone. And when you call them back, them answer, and you are say, are you just call me? And them I say, I can't hear you. And I just pure mix up, mix up, like jigsaw puzzle. When it ever come forward to how it was, how it was, when it ever come forward to that, because we used to have a, a storm out there, you know, so we're supposed to feel the effect of the storm. We say tomorrow too, tomorrow or Friday, Friday. Yes. So we don't know. We don't know. Rain or fall, breeze or blow. It's a terrible thing. And it, it inconvenience because look here. When you do have this something, you can't do it without it, you know. But when you have it and know, say, you're supposed to work with it. And then it now works. It's a big idea, big problem. Especially if you have business for do. Uh, uh, look how you live out of the bush and you're supposed to call somebody to tell them, say, why you want to say, I me me make a read me to go somewhere and I don't come again, you know. You can't get the person and the people are calling you say, hey, look how you make me sit up for this so long, Rasta. You make me go sit down long there and you never come. I say, why you want to say, I don't call you, you know. They say, but I don't get no phone. My phone never ring. I mean, I say, see it, you know. Me, me go and find somebody bad side. Bad side. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. We in her. We have our interview here. Yeah? I'm going see what's happening. And, uh, greetings. Greetings, Muto. Uh, the course lady, this? Yes, this is the court lady. All right. So tell me what you have for me now. All right. So. Ready Cash, we are here to let your listeners know 
that we are providing loans for all of your back-to-school needs. And what is even great about this is that we have a promotion on. So wait, what is it that courts have for back-to-school? I thought you only sell furniture and appliances. No, man. No. <laughs> no, this is courts ready cash that oh. I am referring to, our microloan product. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And so our customers can take a loan of 50,000 Jamaican dollars or more and get a quartz optical. Did you know that we have quartz optical to Muta? No, I didn't that know that. you can buy eyeglasses and get your eyes checked? I didn't know that. Not yeah, man. So, so our customers who come to Courts Ready Cash to get a loan for back to school can yeah. receive a voucher of 30% off their next optical purchase at Quartz Optical. Remember... As a customer, you have to take a loan of $50,000 or more to be eligible for this voucher. So what is the, what is the cost for the loan? I mean, in terms of what you pay back and how long you have to pay it, to pay it back? Well, you have up to 36 months to pay back. And, of course, that depends on an analysis that is done when you bring in the relevant documents. Um, our loan officers will be quite happy to give you more information once you come in. So you don't want to tell you what the percentage plan for the loan? It depends on the term of the loan, what the payback will be. So I would suggest that it is best if your customers come in so that we can do a full profile and you will get the interest rate that is determined by the profile analysis. Now, what them need to have to bring in? What them need to bring in? All right. So the documents that you need to provide is a valid ID driver's license, passport, voter's ID, your TRN, which is on your driver's license if you have one, yeah. your employment history up to six months, proof of income, which is your most recent pay slip, a job letter that's, a, that's addressed to courts ready cash, okay. proof of address, and that is like a utility bill, right? Yeah. And two references, it can be one family member that's not living with you or yeah. one friend who you have known for over five years. Over five years? <laughs> <laughs> for over five years, yes. Yeah. All right. So this will last for how long now, this specialty? The promotion? Yeah, yes. man. So it's going to last until September 30th. So I'm encouraging all of our listeners who are courts ready cash customers and who also want to get a loan with us for the first time to come in before September 30th so that you can benefit from this 30% off voucher for your next courts optical purchase. So you mean, all right, so you say now, if you come in, come test your eye and get uh-huh. glasses, you get 30% off of the, whole, the, the sum total of the, the cost. Absolutely. Once yeah. you pro- provide the voucher that you get. Yes, yes, yes. Once yeah. you, right, yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds good, it sounds good. You have your eye tested yet? Yes, I've had my eye tested. I can wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's good to hear that, you know, and, and a lot of people will happy for that because I only if you would now spend so much time on the iPhone and them face the way up on the iPhone and all them something like that. I only if I them need glasses here right now. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I see some little youth go to school. Not now, but recently. I see some little youth go to school with glasses. Them don't ever reach 12 yet. And them have and glasses. Yeah. What, 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 what do you think? I mean, can we rectify that? I mean, I mean, apart from just saying them need glasses, <laughs> you think there's certain steps, them, certain <laughs> steps them can take for, 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 for you know, for prevent them from a wear glasses so early in them t- age? Yeah, well, I'm not an optician, right? But from yeah, my, me. right, <laughs> so I'm just giving you my personal opinion as a parent, and yeah, I'm man. a parent as well, yeah. right? We need to limit. The, the, the tablet time um, with our children, especially at those young ages. You know, when I was growing up, didn't have tablets and all them things, and I started yeah. wearing glasses maybe in my late teens, right? We're more yeah. outside playing, and we weren't in front of a device. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's really up to us as parents to yeah. protect our children's eyesight, amongst other things, yeah. by keeping them, limiting the time in front of the tablet. Uh, that means it too. Because first time I mean, about tablet, I have to take for six minutes. <laughs> You know, it has secure different way, not take nothing. You know, right. Yeah. All right. So repeat, repeat the special again for me now. Repeat the special and thing again for me. Yeah, man. So 
for our listeners who are coming in to course ready cash for a back to school loan, you will be entitled once you're taking a loan for fifty thousand Jamaican dollars and above, you'll be entitled to a court optical voucher of thirty percent off your next optical purchase. Yes, yes, okay. All right, give thanks, give thanks. You know. And I hope after this I I can come down there and get a more than thirty percent off being such a nice interviewer. <laughs> you are a nice interviewer. So my okay. name is Leslie Prendergast, head of sales we, for you see, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Leslie Prendergast, you related to Prendergast from up um well and I was a tough gang, I know tough gang. I know what you're talking about. In yeah. some sort of way, the person is my ex husband, yes. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Give thanks. Give thanks. All right, Muta. You take care. Great speaking with you. Thanks for your listeners as well. Yeah. All right. Everyone has said the same thing. So, last week, you know, the weekend we hear of the passing of a sister who people got familiar with because she make the rounds performing our poetry around the island, especially on the Marcus Garvey tribute. As a matter of fact, she was staying with me quite a long time. As a matter of fact, we still have, she, have, she still have two suitcases in the house yeah, with her things every night. Her name is Jessica Mbangini from Southern Africa. Azania. A sister who no compromise with her look and how she look as it relates to her indigenous African garbs. I have never seen her in a Western clothes yet. And when I say Western clothes, I talk about like always say, one dress honor and profess Africanism. She maintain an all to her Africanness. Anywhere she go, anywhere in the world. She stay with me and every time she leave the yard, she make sure she, she properly dressed, out dress, out fit herself with are African clothes made up of enough beads enough beads they have a wear in Africa especially in a Durban amongst the Zulu them them work the bead them man may I tell you beautiful but this is like a poet she come here quite a few times and go back to southern Africa I remember we go down our shop. We go down our shop. She have a, a shop where she make clothes. And she sell the beads them and all these things. And when she heard that we was going to perform in a South Africa, she called the promoter and tell her, say, look here, I have to be there. So said, so don't she was there. Mighty full and terrible sister. We're going to play one of our mighty full and terrible poems. Or maybe you're not going to understand it, but just the expression that the sister give out. Make you know, say, you have to stand up and listen, even though you don't understand what she has said. Yes. Africa, no Zalawama, Africa. Africa no zalawam zonzundu. Africa no zalawam listala nam tinja na we Africa. Zisiki li zikhalem na zingya zizaku zaku zam. Zizanzo no zaku zaku. Yang na ishi jambe gulu ya kabanga omane yalandula. A putu zalama pedengwa bibita ma zinye puche papa ma. E kanum pali wasuga wa pepe ta. Ebe gulu gushe gulashe gisama logo nyam. Gwana wa ila shimbo ya kongo poyana. 
Besides somebody, they have to lift up one of them foot. <laughs> they have to lift up one of them foot. I, I, I don't know whether a white people never fall either. A white people never fall. Lift up one of them foot up not here like here yeah, and cock it off. Me I say what is? And they mean the most European fashion design and feel good about it. You know, see it and the most Chinese Indian falls here and them feel good about it. There's a false sense of security. That is what you call no confidence in yourself. If you have no confidence in your people, and they will say they have confidence, you know. But sometimes, if they really understand what confidence means in self, it's not with them a project. And not with them a project. And when you see a sister can walk out in her traditional outfit, in her crowd, and just feel proud and knows that she is, take it or leave it. Eyes are turned. And she now put on nothing and, and I go on like say, because she there, so why she do that? It's such a stay. Because they are in Af South Africa, as such as stay all the while. No change. No jeans, pants. No itch up panty. And I need to talk about their shorts. A woman never wear panty, no one talk about her shorts. I say no shorts. A panty, a denim panty. Khaki panty. When you look at all them dress, that is the way. We all arm on these things and feel good and palava and show up and all sorts of show up. The sister no have nobody to show up on. Because you know say nobody now nah, go dress that we are there. Them no in that African sense of purpose. No in that. It's a serious, serious thing. This is the stepping razor. Wars and rumors of wars. No, I don't worry, man, a rumor again. A real thing. Well, you know, say the same people, them. Julie the ages. A fight war with one another. The same people, them. Check it out. The same people, them, you know. A fight war. From them, from a thousand years until now. The same people, them, a fight one another. Yes. And we are try mimic them in other ways. And all them know is death and destruction. And, 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 and go on like say, them is the order of the world. Them is the secure of what is good and what is bad. Them know how to create goodness in the world when, when we look on them works. It's pure death and destruction. And them have we, African people, have followed them. And we saw brainwashed. We don't realize it's not we. That's why we are talking about confidence in self. If you have no confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in the race of life. But with confidence, you have won even before you have started. Words of Marcus, Mosiah, Gavi. And those words are true up to now. From in the 20s when he said it until now. We need to recognize how important it is to have confidence in yourself. And that though means that when you have confidence in yourself, you're going to be narcissistic. You're going to be Pumping up yourself and push out your chest. Confidence in yourself means uh, you go about doing what you are doing 
in a way that can satisfy you and others if you are doing it for others around you. That is what confidence in self is about. Confidence in self is when you go to a situation or a problem and you can do something or say something to make that problem dissolve. Dissolved. Confidence in self is what we strive for. That is one of the greatest thing we're supposed to really go towards. Because if you do have it, you are defeated, twice defeated in the race of life. Confidence. Trust my man. The man know him sucks. I have a story about Dean Fraser. <laughs> I have a story about Dean Fraser, you know. We were on a tour. Me and Diamonds are 809. At that time, we love 809. And we now bus, I travel. I tell you, say, when we look, when we look outside of the bus, you know, everywhere white, you know, a pure snow out there, you know. Pure snow out there. So, somebody say, fire. You so say, look through the window. No fire come from under the bus. Everybody rush out of the bus. You know, me, they are the back of the bus, you know. Everybody rush out of the bus, you know. Dean Fraser, turn up on the bus and look for him, saxophone. <laughs> that means they are getting the right, you know, Mr. Bredrin. The bus, they pop fire, you know. If no business with what me want to say. Dean Fraser, I look for him, saxophone. Him now left it. <laughs> If not, I left it. Trust me. Yes, Dean Brazier. I am a brethren. Two ones and were running at the election in America. So they're going to free up the ganja. Yes. I hear Kamala say it and I hear Trump say it. Say a time for Lego the ganja. May I tell you? I hear the two contestants them say they're going to free up the ganja. Even more than how it feels, you know, yes. Serious thing. This is where we reach and this is where we come to eat. After so much people, I think buying the Lego at thousand had ganja, um, convicts. And, what's your name? Kamala put a whole heap of prison to, for, for ganja. <laughs> yeah, man. She put People in a prison for ganja like, wow. And look at now, it reached a stage, you know. A music news time coming up. This is the time when we give you the African names. When it starts with the female names. Razia. Razia. R-A-Z-I-Y-A. Razia means easy to get along with. Easy to get along with. Ramla, Ramla, R-A-M-L-A, Ramla. Ramla is, predicts the future, predicts the future. Pili, Pili, P-I-L-I, Pili, means second born child, second born child. And Osi, Osi, O S E Y E O C means happy, happy one. O C. So that's Razia, R A Z I Y A, easy to get along with. Ramla, R A M L A, Ramla predicts the future. Pili, P I L I, second born child. And Ozie, Ozie. O S E Y E, happy one. Male name, Zubiri, Zubiri, Z U B E R I, Zubiri, means strong. Yaya, 
Yaya, Y-A-H-Y-A. Yaya means God's gift. God's gift. Uba, Uba. U-B-A, Uba. Means wealth. And Tao, Tao means, T-A-U means lion. That Subiri, S-U-B-E-R-I, means strong. Yaya, Y-A-H-Y-A, God's gift. Uba, Uba, U-B-A, Uba means wealth. And Tao, T-A-U, Tao means lion. We want to heal up the engineer. We want to heal up the engineer now, Kavin Bailey. Hey, Kavin, let me tell you something. If me hear your engineer for any other this jack by the radio, Anyway, I'm not tell you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to tell you that. Kevin, I know you're listening me. Okay. So I know why you're here. Engineer for this and engineer for that. And so it goes. Okay, here we go. Mr. Turn off your radio. Radio. I, I don't, I'm yeah, not right. using the radio. Yes. Oh, I'm telling my Turn off. Okay. I'm yeah. saying to you. I call you about four or five years ago about some land business where we were having issues. But we get our titles and we supposed to be selling our property or do whatever business you want to do. However, every time I go to pay the tax, um, they're telling me I can't pay. Anyway, Why? I go back to the relevant authority yeah. in which I, I have to do my case myself because I am the public no one wants to help us in lawyers. And no, why them say you can't pay the taxes? I don't know. All the time when they say that, though, to me, is that somebody encroaching on the property and doing what they want to do without so my somebody, knowledge. If somebody have paid the taxes? No, I am paying the taxes. So it yeah. seems like now somebody starts paying the taxes after, you know, after I pay my taxes. So yeah. when I go to pay the taxes, I cannot pay the taxes. However, though, like I'm saying to you, I want my case. 2023, because mm-hmm. it was an issue in the courthouse, and yeah. I, I came out triumph. Okay, that is good so, to hear. So where do the land now? The that's what I'm saying to you. Whenever I go to pay the taxes... You can't pay it. I cannot pay the taxes. And when I call the relevant authority mm. and go to them, because one of the relevant authorities said to me about a month and a half ago or less, mm. I should come back in a week time because I brought some documents to them from the appeals court. Yeah. And so the, the thing is for them to do is lift the caveat of the property in which mm-hmm. I did not put the caveat on the property. Do not ask me. It must be who one I who was in court. You know, many are people. Right? And So you have a liar? Do... You have a liar? <laughs> no. So you forget a liar, ma'am. But no, I'm saying to you, no lawyer wants my case. Every lawyer I go to, they have something else to tell me what another lawyer says, in which I have used any lawyer. Uh, one lawyer, uh, uh, two lawyer I used, and those lawyers were like, that's why I was calling you back then to let you know what was going on, what issue I was facing with these lawyers. However, like I said, none of them wanted to help me with my case. I have to be doing it along with the public, like asking questions, using Google. Yeah. However, thank God I came out triumph with my case. I won my case. Yes. And now I want to do what i supposed to do with my property. And I cannot do it because they're not listing the caveat of the property. Then and I have the, the paperwork case, if, here. If, if it's been the case, why don't carry it? I take everything so, there. They have it. They have it. They didn't even want to give me back my receipt. And I have to say, no, how can I go home with a receipt? I don't know what you to know? tell you because that's so now here. Uh, so yes, and, and I'm telling you, I'm meeting challenges with these people. I'm meeting a lot of challenges in Jamaica, Mr. Mota. Mm-hmm. A lot of challenges. Because I work in the country, I'm doing what I want, you know. 
You know, yeah. the other day I find some loose pipe on a gong by my by my yard going over by an next to um, no, 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 water. And they threatened to shoot me, Mr. Muta. I have been no. They might threaten to shoot you. Yes, sir. I'm going to too much. And they always say I'm crying. But, sir, would you shut up? Me can't take it no more, no, Mr. Muta, sir. Please help me. I'm at two hours, you know. And we have got to do this same challenge, you know, sir. So it's too much. And also, we're not bother nobody. <laughs> Please, sir, help us in any way I can. I'm begging you. We went to court today. Every time I went to court, the policeman don't turn up. I will have to find a liar for you. Know. Lift your number. All right. Yeah. Lift your number. Lift your number with the operator. Because if I can find a liar for you. God bless you, man. Yeah. All right. Lift your number and because if I can find a liar. Because there's no way you can tell me, say. No liar. No liar means the liar when you no, check. I swear. I've been right. to a lot of them. All right. Give thanks. Yeah? Yes, I am blessed. Just left your number. All right. Sure. All right. We're going to take a yes, break sir. and come forward. Yes, Operator, don't hurry there. Give Vivian the number for that lady there. And make Vivian give me it. So, whosoever listen down there, give Vivian the number. And that lady will just call. And, um, maybe you give it me. Okay, here we go. Yes, here. Here. Turn down your radio, no man. Turn down your radio. Yeah, me turn it down, man. I have one water. Step in razor. Yeah, man, me the live, man. Yeah, man, you know, say, I, is that the question mark there? Call, call about the work. What kind of issue? <laughs> Um, I want, I want to know if you know about the road in a, in a Jericho and in a Harry Field and a Nutshell, uh, entrance to Nutshell and called 14 Road and yeah. stuff. Them in a horrible state and I appeal to the government. What the counselor? And, what the counselor? And the counselor. The what the counselor? The counselor is um, Kingling. Him use the road? Yes, sir. Him use the road? I don't know about it. It's the first time I, I, I know about him, Tingling. Oh, the first time you know about him? Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to go find him, you know. Because uh, he, he, he taxi man, he might come to and this and all these things. Well, he tell said, the taxi he, man, them, the whole of them must go to the councillor one time. Yeah. They must get up all the taxi man, them, and go down mm-hmm. at the councillor's office and mm-hmm. talk to him. All right? Yeah, man. And before yeah. me, up half a line, you have to say, Happy, happy belated birthday to Alvin, to one of the police virgin, Alvin, and yeah. from Jericho, Roll Alien. I'm all right, sir. Roller, yes. Yeah, all right. Yes, Ian. Ian, the power of the Trinity. Yes, turn on your radio. Yes, brother Muguta. Talk quick, virgin. Ian, the power of the Trinity. First earthquake of the Malvern, I have been the Tabernacle. Yes, talk what you want, talk. Yes, Ethiopia, New Year coming up now. Make the nation know that and the world know that coming up next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, oh, the Bingo at the Rosemary District, Malvern. Let them so put the population together. So we'll just make the family know. Yeah, all right. Let them to September. Yes, brother, I'm out there. Now the hilltop. Yeah, all right. Yeah, See, right. so we just have get the ground IP and I put things in place as usual. You know, we go through this time and this one, and look here up on the ground, but we get it done somehow, you know? Yeah, yeah, that is and good. And the part coming over, where it requires the house being and what it requires. So you know, one of my children, you know, you know, food, water, herbs, spice, you know? Yeah, you know, all require, right. And the drum, them, rusty, remember the big drum, house at sea band, rust them all over Jamaica, brother and sister, give thanks to the love, you know? Yeah, man. Give thanks, Bridget. Okay. Rastafari, I love. Yes, 